I know you've suffered from tinnitus mm. uh, about over 10 years ago. I have, have the same. I've been hearing this ringing in my ear since I was yeah. 14, so that's 17 years ago. Um, and I've always been telling my story ever since, trying to um, get people to wear earplugs and stuff like that. So I was wondering how you cope with it and if it still has any influence on your daily life. Yeah, well, I did. I was very lucky. I had some great advice on it. And uh, I have these little things I wear in my ears to keep everything quiet and uh, change some things I eat and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'll tell, I'll tell you about it. Do you want me to tell you on camera? Yeah, why not, yeah. Um, I'm interested in it. So there's a thing called ginkgo biloba, this herb. That's very good for you. And um, a lot, I go in the steam a lot, you know? Yeah. And. Uh, the main thing is not to panic too much about it. It's like, it's okay. It's just a sound from inside your body somewhere. Yeah, but, stress uh, only amplifies it. Yeah. yeah. But that's, but even when someone tells you that, it makes you more stressed. <laughs> the point, my, my feeling is that it's okay. It's not the end of the, you know, you can learn to live with it. Mm -hmm. At times it gets very, a, a lot, but yeah, I have these little, the main thing is those little earplugs that are great. Do you have those? No, like, no, not just... I'll like show you afterwards. Hearing, you, yeah. you get them made for your ears. And oh, okay. Not just to block the sound, you mean? No. No, no. no. Just They're to attenuated, so they sound, it still sounds fairly normal, just yeah. quieter. This isn't really for the interview, but I'm telling, I'm telling you... <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's a personal interest, yeah. yeah. 